Welcome students and parents. My name is Corey Skinner and I'm one of the assistant principals at Athena Middle School. We created this tour so that you could take a look at what our school looks like before you arrive this September. Classes and schoolwork are only one part of the Athena experience. As long as you maintain acceptable grades and attendance, you will be able to join our renowned music program, participate in nearly a dozen clubs, and play sports as an Athena Trojan. At Athena, we also believe in giving back and there will be opportunities to volunteer with Athena Cares, the National Honor Society, and Student Council. We can't wait to have you become part of our school community. If you're one of our new sixth graders, this is going to be an exciting time for you. I know you're used to moving between a couple of classrooms, however here you'll be moving between ELA, Social Studies, Science, Math, Music, PE, Technology, Art, and Family and Consumer Science. That's why we created this video for you so you'll know the layout of the building on day one. Regardless of whether you are being dropped off by your parents or arriving on the bus, you begin each day at our main entrance here. You will continue along the walkway and when you reach the doors, you will turn right and head up the stairs to the third floor where our middle school is. Here we have the nurse's office, so if you're ever not feeling well, this is the place to go. And then if you turn the corner, you might be in if you're a sixth grader. Uh, this one happens to be a math room right now, uh, but as you can see, we've got our smart boards, 
We've got our agendas up that you would be using. Hi, I'm Mr. Metzger. I am one of the counselors here at Athena Middle, and we are still in the sixth grade hallway, and I'm standing in front of a room that houses the LOAT. That's a, um, we use that to describe language other than English. We have LOAT rooms on either side of the hallway. That's something that seventh and eighth graders take. Um, as a sixth grader, you're not, you're not really required to enroll in that yet. Okay, this is one of the art rooms. Um, we actually have two art rooms, and this is Mr. Testa's room. And sixth graders take art, and typically seventh or eighth. So in this corner, we have science rooms. And then further down the hallway, it's mostly seventh and eighth grade social studies with a couple of science classrooms in there. And at the end of the seventh and eighth grade social studies wing, we have other bathrooms for you to use, as well as a drinking fountain. So as you get to the end of the 7th and 8th grade social studies, you'll turn the corner into our last hallway. Um, uh, here you have the health office, or health room I should say. Um, and then down this hall we have some science rooms and offices. So also in this hallway where we found the health and science rooms, we also have 7th and 8th grade math classrooms. Hello, Mr. Skinner again. This is where Mr. Falkerson, your principal, has his office, which is on the left. And on the right-hand side, you'll also find his conference room. Uh, Ms. Dailia and Ms. Warner can also help you if you need it. Going down the hallway, we first come across Ms. Francione's office. She is our attendance clerk and can help you if you're coming in late in the morning or have early dismissal. Next door on the right leads to the offices of Ms. Shaw, the other assistant principal, Mr. Metzger, the counselor you met earlier, and myself. Uh, Ms. Ferrari and Ms. Sidora are also available here to help you as well. The last door on the right leads to what we call our counselor's office. Here you'll find uh, the office of Mrs. Dorsey and Ms. Hamlin, as well as access to our last conference room where we conduct many of our IEP meetings and parent conferences. Uh, you can also find Mrs. Ball, Ms. Ranalata, and Ms. Moore who are available to help you if you need it. Once we leave the counselor's office, we continue straight towards the cafeteria and turn left. This leads to the music wing, which has access to your music classrooms, instrument practice rooms, a dance studio, and our GPAC, which is our, our auditorium where most of our concerts and musicals take place. There are three last places that I need to take you to, but we are going to have to leave the third floor. As we head downstairs to the second floor and turn right, you will find both our gym and our library. Now as we leave the library and the gym, we continue down to the first floor. Incidentally, these are the stairs that you will come down at the end of the day. And you can see to the right, there's a ramp that leads to the buses outside. Now, one last place I want to check out is our G-Pack. Our GPAC is an example of how much pride our community has for its music programs. I know you'll enjoy many concerts and hopefully participate in some over the next couple of years. Our virtual tour has now come to an end. 
and I want to thank you and your family for taking the time to view this video. The entire Athena staff can't wait to meet you, but in the meantime, enjoy your summer.